September 11th is the current day today as of me recording this and on this day on this month 23 to 24 years ago in 2001 this day would be regarded as one of the worst cases of attacks on American society in the history of America entirely. The closest second event, the, the, hmm, the closest um, event I can think of that would be second to this would be, uh, I don't know, Pearl Harbor. <laughs> it's basically, that, that event's basically on the same level of um, another country doing something wrong to us Americans. Anyways, I was born in 2007. So, I did not live long enough to see or hear um, about 9-11 when it happened. It wouldn't be till, uh, I don't know, seven or eight, probably seven years later, where I... Where, where um, it was 2008, where I would would live through my first um, Remembrance Day. So I do not have any um, recollection of events to tell you from my own personal standpoint. I was never in New York either. I was all the way down here in Georgia where I'm filming this today. But I do know at least three accounts of people I know who have experienced this. First of all, we have my mother, my mother's account of how she experienced this. She came home from work, uh, turned the TV on, and boom, there it was. The, um, the whole shebang, you know. Um, then we have my film teacher, he was doing a class as usual when he turned the TV on as well, and all of his students were around him watching as well, and he turned the TV on just in time to see the second tower hit. Well, the second tower get hit, I mean. And my most recent account that I've um, had the privilege of hearing is um, my environmental science teacher. She was in college at the time, and she actually never saw it happen on television until probably late in the day because at her college she didn't have a TV that's that's what she told me she didn't she didn't have a TV to watch it happen live um, 
again, it probably wasn't until late in the day, um, when she, uh, I don't know, got back to her apartment and saw it happen live. And, um, one weird thing about that day was, um, my environmental science teacher was baking cookies that day. Pretty weird to be baking cookies while a while one of the biggest tragedies in American history was uh, was happening. Um, what else is there to say? Um, you know, I, I have my opinions on the remembrance of 9-11, which is very simple. 23 years later, I'm like, should we even be doing, uh, 9-11 Remembrance Days anymore. I mean, I figured we should stop at, like, 25 years. <laughs> because, like, the souls of those that we lost on that day, they've probably long passed, and they probably don't care about us people talking about them, the people that we've lost. They've probably long passed, and they are living their best afterlives in heaven. And they could give two shits. I probably shouldn't say that. Um, they could give two... They, they couldn't give two about what we have to say about the events that they died under. But I don't want to be too negative about today. But overall, to anyone watching this who has had a family member or knows of a family member that they have lost in the events, all I have to say is 23 years later, I hope you're still remembering how good of a person that person was. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on 9-11, and, um, I don't know what else to say. So, um, thanks for watching. <laughs>